I don't know why I was cast. I genuinely feel like a contest winner. I auditioned once and I waited and then I got the call and I cried. It was very special because and then as you know is my home like I feel like that's my home but to come back with a show like this to show British audiences at the National Theatre out of all theatres something that I didn't expect their reaction would be we got the exact opposite and it was beautiful and we got people were shocked people were crying people fell in love and it was beautiful it was an amazing thing to witness so pretty much everything I mean people judge her because she goes to the underground whatever but honestly if you weren't getting what you needed and for a moment I forget just how dark special. I missed New York. I didn't admit that, but I missed New York. I this is so intimate and homey, and I've only ever played like bigger or very small, and this is just perfect. I mean, the ornate decorations are around the auditorium. It's just, it's made for us. I think Town feeds me. I think Town feeds me, and then doing my solo show sometimes exhausts me because as I'm just Eva, so when I'm tired, Eva wants to relax, but she can't, no days off, gotta pay rent. So it's nice to have this beautiful show that I'm so grateful to be in, because all barriers of work just leave. I don't feel like it's work, I just feel like it's the best thing in the world. I feel like I have to say Andre to Shields, because if I didn't, he'd probably threaten me and do something awful, like he normally does. He's a legend. He's also hugely funny. And he wears the coolest things, and I'm pretty sure they're all from his personal closet.